All right, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, Sunny and I are gonna be exploring an abandoned diner that's about like 1950s style themed. It is a really cool design of this place. I really like it. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it too. There's even a jukebox in here, which is one of the main pulls for me. And I think that is, I don't know, just really cool. I love the, the date and the vibe of this place. And I think you guys, like I said, are just really gonna enjoy it. And with that, let's just get right on into it. So let's head around here and see what we can find. All right, we are starting off in one of the sit down dining sections. And Sunny was making a good point. I guess just the first thing that kind of whacks you when you're looking at this place is the style. And that it's probably, you know, maybe not the best reflection of what the 50s was always like or what the style was always like. But I think this is like the more sensationalized idea when we think of the 50s now. It's like this is the first thing that pops into our head. It's almost like the stereotype. I'm sure there's a lot of other designs that were probably way more popular than this. But it still is really cool. It's not something that you get to typically see. I always like a good like themed place in. It's not every day you could see something like this and that it's abandoned, so. It's just something uh, cool to soak in and something different. Here's a, a close look at one of the tables and you can see that there's a bunch of utensils and plates and everything still left out. Condiments, there's a bunch of syrup. Which I'm sure all the ants and animals that might be coming in here love. But yeah, it is just kind of weird to see everything like splayed out everywhere, but this place did just close down, I think due to financial reasons and also just that it wasn't very popular. We actually, funnily enough, me and Sunny know somebody who came here and ate here and just told us it wasn't the greatest experience. I mean, they had cold spaghetti. It's kind of like a fundamental thing. You just, I don't know, if you can't get that right, I don't know. I feel like that's a poor reflection of this place. So, you know, cool to reflect on, cool to see it abandoned, but I don't know if I would have ever found myself eating here. So, um, Taking a closer look at this, I thought this was just, to be honest, I thought it was coffee grounds. I, apparently, is it ants? It is ants. Uh, it's all syrup, so. Well, uh, yeah. They died for the sauce. Oh, well, it's also all in there, too. That's really gross. That is nasty. Lick it. No. Please. Here's uh, one of the menus for this place. Because if I want to specifically call it the Rise and Shine menu like omelets and scrambles and stuff. I think I saw some of the other ones had like pancakes, pretty much everything. Like the Hungry Man, it's kind of like a big pile of everything. I don't know, I'm having a hard time trusting this place now because now I read this menu, some stuff sounds good, but I know like my friend didn't have a great experience. So I'm like, I don't know. Another cool part of this place that I'm sure you notice more is that they have a lot of this older like signage, specifically like, you know, kind of like those typical advertisements that we would imagine would be in the 50s, especially like Coca-Cola. That might be a little bit sensationalized too. Like I'm sure that there was other popular advertisements back then that, you know, now just because Coca-Cola is a huge company, we love like looking back at their old ads, but it does give that very like nostalgic type feel as if like you are stepping back in time. So, you know, your thirst takes wings. I don't even know what that means. And there's another one here too, Root US 66. I feel like that is also very popular for some reason, like always having like the roots, like as like signs just in like a themed diner. Don't really know what that has to do with like the nostalgia vibe of it or where that kind of trend started, but it's still cool. Okay, now I really like this section. It's like a little booth. And like also specifically these lights are super cool. Just like this, the style, the ceiling and everything, they did a lot of uh, detail work in this place when putting it together. I think interestingly enough in its history, you know, when I looked into it, it used to be a Denny's, I believe. And then someone independently came in and bought that and kind of turned it into this before it met its demise, only like a few years ago, but still super cool. Uh, I'm always a booth type of girl. I love the booth. I don't know anyone who would pick a chair or a booth. And if you are, please tell me why. Um, other than like accessibility reasons, obviously that can be understandable too, maybe our features like that. But other than that, for pure comfort reasons, booth, the way to go. Oh, that's so sad. Someone spilled their coffee. No. It's not something it would be me. I feel like I've spilled a lot of things in my life. Almost every time I have a cup of coffee, I at least get like 10 drips on me. I am just not a coordinated human being. I'll drink it. Take a little sip. Please don't. Sonny's been known for doing a lot of taste tests now in my videos. But, um, but no, no, stop. Okay, stop. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Now we are going to venture off into this other half of the diner 
which you can see is actually like the main kind of entrance bit. Like that's where you would walk on in, stroll on up to the counter, ask a nice lady, you know, hey, got any space? I feel like there's never been a time I've actually had to wait for a diner. It's like they always sit people, right? You just go to diners that suck. I go to diners that suck. You go to exclusive diners like me, there's always a wait. Unless you're me. Then they Unless just you're know. you. Why when is there? When Sunny comes in, they just There's like know. a door fee to get in, like $20 no, yeah. to get into this. <laughs> I have a special door that I can go underneath the diner and come Oh, it's up. like a speakeasy. Only like for a little, me. Like a little sneaky. It's just how I get, you know. Just what I sneaky diner, speakeasy. Anyways, as I was saying, you know, you come up here, you'd uh, be on this and just wait in, you know, they'd be punching in. Who even knows? I never know how to work any of this stuff. But punching a bunch of stuff in there, probably. Maybe you pop a squat over here. We were actually trying to figure out earlier what you'd actually call this like area. I mean, it's like not like a table, but it's, I don't really want to call it like a bar because you're not. I guess, yeah, yeah, you're at the counter. I want to. Beer up at the counter. I feel like that's like they always portray that in the movies. It's like everyone sits at the counter. I've never sat at the counter. I did once. Once did it feel weird. It was super awkward and weird. Yeah, I feel like I wouldn't like it. I want to be a little away from everybody. People are working behind you. I mean, it's, it's nonstop motion. It's like yeah, you'd be, like, you'd be over here, like yeah, we could be hustling over here, and you're just sitting there trying to have like a meal. Oh my god. Here's the back behind the counter, and you can actually see there's the coffee pot. Still set up just like it would have been if this place was active. It's also the sodas and the juices, as you guys can see here. It's kind of what they got here. Probably the connection to the kitchen too, so that if any food was popping out, it probably would pop out right here. All the plates and to-go boxes still all set nice and neat. That's what makes it so weird when everything's just like still kind of just left it as. Who knows if anyone's touched any of this since this place closed down. This is actually down underneath the uh, counter section. I think those are all like the you know like the metal containers that they would put the ice cream in if they were making milkshakes. You know the typical drink you think of when you're at a diner. So that's kind of cool. But we were looking around. But I don't think we can even actually see on the counter the or the back section. Here. I don't see a necessarily like a milkshake machine or what they would have used for that. You can see some maybe sections here where they would have had like toppings, see like chocolate syrup. That little pump there. And of course I have to give this thing its own moment too. This is a freaking awesome jukebox. And just look at the design of this thing. It is awesome. Look at that. Um, sadly, don't think it's going to work for us. You can see all the different pages that you would be able to flip through inside. All the different types of music. I think it says up there, compact disc. And then four plays, so I guess four different songs you could pick for a dollar, which is you know, it's not bad. That design though is really getting me. Look at that. See, this is the kind of stuff I love, like the design of like stuff like this from um, like past decades. Same thing with like, you know, older fridges and things like that. I've always had a appreciation for the look and you know, there's something nice about the more modern design, but you know, this is very, very, very unique and beautiful. And if you were ever curious about the internal mechanisms, of a jukebox. This one actually opens. Can't tell you a lot about what it actually does or what all these things are for, all the connections and yeah, but that's the inside. There actually are a few different things still in here. Like Beach Boys, uh, Grammy, 2006 nominees, oh man, Green Day, Paul McCartney, that Kelly Clarkson, Coldplay, sounds about right. This is that other end. Few more tables, kind of the same old, same old. Honestly, just still a really cool design. Always cool to look at it and just kind of enjoy that that retro style that they really brought alive here. But to be honest, I think that's pretty much it for this place. We've kind of seen the majority of it, I would say, right, Sunny? Yeah, I mean it's yeah. pretty much the same each side. It's just more of the style is really cool here. So just yeah. to capture that. Is yeah, the style itself is like what really like is what kind of like I think draws a lot of people here it's like fascinating to, to everyone jukebox is cool obviously too mm -hmm. and um yeah I think we enjoy this place right pretty yeah. solid good time and I think with that being said we are ready to right head on out of here head on out and under one condition one condition for everybody if you're watching this video if you're not a subscriber this will make you subscribe people who subscribe enter to win a contest okay where you could win a limited edition vintage <laughs> vintage Dr. Pepper Jurassic World edition. This is when it first came out. When did Jurassic World came out again? I don't know, but this is 
still subscribe. Unethical. Still, <laughs> still subscribe. All right, man. All right. Well, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And Peace. we're going to head on out of here. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed exploring this abandoned diner with Sunny and I. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And of course, like always, we'll catch you in the next one.